Okay, that's it there. It's right behind that gold band. It's that that red LeSabre. Bill's in there at Traveler's Inn. He's been there since, uh, oh, 8.30. It's got to be at least, oh, I think it's about 9.30 now, maybe later. He's having a leisurely breakfast. I'll record more. Okay, hello America. My name's Judd Hoff, and it's November 16th, 2010. This morning, like most weekday mornings, I was driving my children to school, and I was going up Highway 29 North on the south side of Alexander, Minnesota. What to my wondering eyes should appear, but a state senator by the name of Bill Ingebretson illegally driving a car, a LeSabre, a red LeSabre, that is, and here's the big part, that's licensed for a dealer in transit. This is a special plate that dealers are given by the state on the strict understanding that they only use it to transport vehicles back and forth for purposes of selling them or obtaining them. And I thought to myself, what's he doing driving that? He pulled out right in front of a semi that was in front of me. And I thought, first thing, I, th I didn't know it was him. And I said, geez, somebody whipped right out in front of that semi. I better get on my brakes because, you know, they're going to be slowing down. But no, the semi never hit the brakes. Bill absolutely, he put that thing to the wood and he made it to stoplight. He floored that car. He was driving it like, you know, like I drive cars in the field when I'm ready to demo them. That's how he was driving that car. He put that 3800 to the red line. I promise you, I'm not kidding. He was beating on that car. Well, no wonder. It ain't his. It's a perk. It's a perk from one of his kiss-ass constituents at Lee Motors. So I see him. Because I come up next to him at the red light. And, and I, I see it. He sees me and whoop, he acts like he don't see me. But I see him. And I see it's him. And then the light turns green. He goes and I look and there's the license plate. What was it again? IT42699. Dealer in transit. It's a, it's a, it's a state senator perk grabbing uh, state senator in transit. He drives and I take my kids to school. I follow him. I determine that, yeah, that ain't. He shouldn't be in that thing. I know he shouldn't, unless he's driving for the dealer. He ain't. Prove that later. I take my kids to school. I run home. Because I know, I know, you know, what's a rich rich guy like him, state senator, Bill Ingebretson, going to be doing? You know, well, I know he's not driving that car for the purpose he's supposed to be. It's licensed for it. I know he's probably meeting with colleagues. I figure he's at Traveler's Inn, where all the rich people go to eat and meet and greet and kiss each other's asses. So... I go to Traveler's Inn, you betcha, it's parked right there. My instincts serve me correctly. I park my car, I get out, and I film the next two clips that establish that he parked the car outside Traveler's Inn. It's about an hour later from when I spotted him. He's been having a leisurely, nice breakfast with some other attorneys, and, uh, and we'll show it right now. Here it is. Okay, so here we are again. There's the LeSabre. As you can see, it has dealer's plates. Right there. Hey Bill. Hey Robert. How you doing? This is my wife's cousin. Really? Yeah. So how do you feel about winning? Good. I'm sorry, are you? I'm Judd Hoff, you remember me? Oh, yeah. So what you doing today? Oh, we're just uh, having a private conversation here. And oh, okay. Oh, you're a public official. You don't care to tell me what you're up to, huh? Uh, you know what? Anything uh, vague? Uh, nothing. It's actually, actually state business. Yeah. State business. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. So there you have it, folks. He's conducting official state business straight from his own mouth with a dealer in transit licensed car which is supposed to be used only for the business of the dealer. And he says he's doing state business. Must be nice to get perks like that. Wish I were that entitled. All right, we've just established that he's breaking the law. That, that car's licensed for driving dealer's cars in transit on dealer business. And he just said that he's on private business. He's on official state business. 
He's there with another attorney. I don't think this has anything to do with Lee Motors, do you? And uh, now the next clip you're going to see, um, I ask his dining companion, who does happen to be my wife's cousin, and a very nice guy. Can't figure out what he's doing with Bill. I ask him, you know, what he thinks of all this. I tell you what, some of these privileged class people sure get a lot of perks, don't they? Anyway, the cops are coming, so. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens. He'll probably come up with some lie or excuse. That was Robert. He's a nice guy. I don't know what he's doing hanging out with Bill. So I'm still waiting for the cops, and I wouldn't expect too much. Okay, so there goes Bill, Senator Bill Ingebrigtsen's attorney friend, whom he was consulting with on state matters, leaving the restaurant. And he, you see he doesn't want to be uh, seen at the scene of a crime. He doesn't want to be observed in connection with any, anything untoward because he's, he's probably a more reputable person than Bill. So he's, he's breaking his association with Bill right here. He's not going to stick around. But that's the state business he was on right there. So he doesn't look like a car dealer to me. Looks like an attorney. So the cops are on their way. Here they come. I just informed the officers of the situation and they look very bleak. They don't look like they want to do anything. But I think they know they gotta. Bill should be out. I saw him grabbing his coat. And I called the state office and asked them about those plates. And that's what they told me. They're only used for transporting vehicles from dealer to dealer, dealer to customer, or auction to dealer, or vice versa of any of those three combinations. Okay. Now, in the next two clips, you'll see the officers uh, responding to, and they're going in to talk to Bill, and notice how they treat me. They say, and you can't hear all of it, because like I say, I didn't get everything, but you, you do catch the one officer saying, that once we enter the restaurant, he says, now you stay here, I'll talk to him alone. Now, that there is entitled treatment for a criminal or a suspected criminal. When the cops are, are I'm going to read to you, Black versus Cod, United States District Court, Southern District of New York, the 1st of June, 1977, the Federal Consent Decree in Black versus Cod reads in part, and this is pertaining to the public's right to be spectator to the cops' activity when they're questioning or detaining perpetrators. And here's how it, what it says. When a person or persons is detained, stopped, or arrested in public areas, a person or persons not involved in the conduct for which the person is stopped or arrested may remain in the vicinity of the stop or arrest as onlookers or, or on, onlooker or onlookers. None of the following constitutes probable cause for arrest or detention. Of, of an onlooker unless the safety of officers or other persons is directly endangered or the officer reasonable, reasonably believes they are endangered or the law is otherwise violated. Speech alone, even though crude and vulgar, requesting and making notes of shield numbers, taking photographs, and remaining in the vicinity of the stop or arrest, that's the shield numbers of the officers. You can ask them while they're arresting someone for their badge number, and they can't tell you you're interfering. So, uh, officers, put your reasonable beliefs into words and be specific. No generalities allowed. Now, watch how they treat me. Stay back. We can't let you document uh, uh, our best buddy Bill breaking the law like a total scofflaw degenerate. Stay back. I can tell when I talk to him without you there. I'll stay right here. We'll see what kind of cockamamie excuse he comes up with. Here we go. Okay, so now what you're not going to see, because I was too livid to hit the right buttons, is the cops come out again. And Bill Ingebrigtsen comes out, he gets in his car and leaves. He knows it's illegal, okay? That's been established. The cops tell me, well, we'll refer this to the city attorney and they can do what they want to do with it. 
a deputy that you'll see in the upcoming clips, I'm going to cut ahead a little. We're going to post more stuff, and you're going to see what another deputy says. He says, I can't do nothing unless I'm a witness to it, okay? He said, I'm, I can't cite the guy unless I'm a witness. I'll be referring these charges to the county attorney because Bill breaks the law in the city of Alec, and he leaves the city limits and goes in the county. So you're going to see that in upcoming videos. But what, what you don't see here is Bill getting in the car in front of the police after the police established that he is not supposed to be driving that car, that it's an illegal act. Bye-bye, Bill. Have a nice drive to Lee Motors. I go after the cops. I, I cuss him out. I tell him, you're, you're a disgrace to the badge. You know, you're, you're letting him leave. You're not even going to cite him. Is he's above the law? He's above the law? If I did this, I'd get a ticket. You know, what are you talking about? You're not going to write him a ticket? I, I told them they're a disgrace to their badge. They're a disgrace to that flag they're wearing. And that they do not enforce the law equally for all people. That they have a privileged class of society that they're favoring and that they're covering for and that they're protecting. I followed the cops a little bit. I yelled at them. And then I thought, here comes Bill. He's getting away. Back to the Batmobile, I followed him to Lee Motors, okay? I kept him in sight the whole time. He drove outside the city limits, he parks the car at Lee Motors, and then I confront him, and now we're going to run those videos.